I'm Tom Spiggle with the Spiggle Law Firm, where we help people who've been fired or afraid that they might be. I want to answer a common question that we get, which is, have I been wrongfully terminated or fired? Um, this can be a somewhat difficult question just because it's such a broad category of circumstances. There may be circumstances in which uh, your boss or your employer acted wrongfully uh, in a moral sense, but it wasn't illegal. So if you kind of imagine a circle of all the reasons that you could be fired that are unfair, that could be considered wrong, immoral, there's that circle. And then within that are those situations in which you've been fired and it's illegal. And sometimes it can be difficult to suss that out about where that line is and which makes sense to talk to an attorney to figure that out. For instance, uh, let's say you have a boss that is um, verbally abusive. He comes in and he yells and he throws, throws things and he's just generally a jerk. And you stand up to him and you say, you know what, I don't think this is right. And you get fired. It's certainly that's wrongful, right? I mean, this guy's being a jerk and all you did is stand up for yourself. But is it wrongful termination in a legal sense? If this boss does this to everybody, um, I call it the equal opportunity asshole rule. Ironically, that's not illegal because he's not doing it on a discriminatory basis. He's just a jerk. Now let's change the facts a little bit and say that he only does this to, or does it worse when uh, there are women in the room. And he, he only throws binders and yells at the women in the room. And you come to him and you say, you know what, I don't think what you're doing is right and you're fired. Now that could be wrongful and illegal termination because he is arguably creating a hostile work environment based on sex, right? He only does it to women, which would be illegal. Let's change it a little bit more and say that you come up to him and you say, I've noticed that you only do this to women. I think that's illegal. You should stop doing it and then you're fired. All right, well then you've got two claims, right? You've got a hostile work environment based on sex and then you've got illegal retaliation because you have raised with your boss that he is treating people differently based on a protected category here in this instance, sex. Um, and that can be a legal termination. So here we've got one of those smaller universe of cases where what's happened is both wrongful and it's illegal perhaps on two counts because he's created a hostile work environment because he fired you for a retaliatory reason. So, and it, you can of course do your own research. There are lots of resources on Google, lots of resources on our website that you can look for, try to find examples and, and facts that look similar to what you've dealt with to figure out whether you've been wrongfully terminated. And then of course the other option is to talk to an attorney because that's what we do is we listen to what's happened to people and try to find out if there is a line at which the employer crossed that they broke the law. So have you been wrongfully terminated? If you're asking the question, you probably weren't wrongfully terminated, were you wrongfully and illegally terminated? That's a different question.